Hey, our friends, it's Friday. We always love Fridays. Fridays! They're our favorite day, except today is special because we have a special announcement, right? How to draw a cartoon animal. Yes, we have a new ebook. You can go over to our website at artforkidshub.com slash books, and you can learn more and purchase our new ebook, which is how to draw cartoon animals. Yep. Is that what you said? Yep. <laughs> we have 50 lessons in here, and if you're already an Art Club member, you already have access to all of these lessons. All of them? No, not all of them. There, actually, we have six new ones in here that aren't in the Art Club membership, but most of them. And they're really cool. They're a lot of fun. So there's an armadillo. Armadillo. We haven't done that one yet, have we? No. Nope. But... There's all, so there's 50 lessons. There's 50 step-by-steps, but there's also 50 coloring pages. Now it's a digital download, so once you purchase the PDF, you can download it and then print it out. And you can print the whole thing out like I did, or you can just use your printer settings and print one, one lesson at a time, or you can use it on your iPad or iPhone and just use it digitally. Now today we're gonna draw the owl, and this is actually from our ebook, so we're gonna follow these step-by-steps, and we've done this lesson a long time ago, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. How long ago? 2013. Yeah, in 2013 we first did our owl lesson, and we're gonna do it again today. We're gonna redo it. Sound like fun? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put that off to the side. You got your marker. We hope you guys at home are gonna follow along with us. You got a marker and some paper. If you don't have a marker, it's okay. You could use just a pencil or a crayon or anything else you feel more comfortable drawing with. Yeah. Now, the first step, we're gonna draw two W's and this is for our owl's talons and we're gonna draw him down here in the bottom. We're gonna draw the W's down here and we're gonna also curve the W's. So watch this, we're gonna go curve, is that cool? Yeah. So there's one talon. Good, and then we're gonna draw another W over here, but we're gonna curve it the other direction. Yeah. Good job. Now we're gonna connect to the top of our W's with a curve, like that. Now we went back and we watched the video, didn't we? Yeah. And it is old, I can't believe it. We did that in 2013, that's like almost four years ago. Yeah. We did it in September, so it's a little under four. But we're gonna connect the bottom down here also. But man, we've been loving it, haven't we? We've yeah. loved drawing every single day. It's so much fun. And then we're gonna connect the bottom over here too. Okay, now we're gonna draw the branch that he's hanging onto with these talons. So we're gonna connect the two W's there's two legs with a little wavy line. Yes, and we're gonna do that down at the bottom also. Okay, and we're gonna imagine them coming out this side and we're just gonna go off the paper like that. We'll just, yep, perfect. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. Good, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. Yeah, you're kinda of close to the left side of your paper and that's okay. I'm gonna do the bottom. Okay, we got our branch and we got the talons. Now let's draw his body. We're gonna start way up here at the top of our paper and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down. So we're gonna draw a big curve that comes down and it connects to the branch. Good, and then we're gonna imagine it coming down behind the branch and starting again down here and we're gonna curve it towards the middle and we wanna stop halfway in between his talons. So if we were to split this in half, come straight down, that's about where we want to stop. I'm going to draw it a little bit longer. There we go. Now we're going to draw the other side of his body. So we're going to start up at the same height. And we're going to draw another curve. Comes down and connects to the branch. And then we're going to imagine it going behind the branch and then popping out at the bottom and then connecting down here right in the middle. So there's his tail and there's the side of his body. Now let's draw, we're going to draw little ears, except they don't have ears. These are really just feathers, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Makes them look like they have horns. So we have these two diagonal lines on each side and then we're going to connect in between. There we go. Okay, so we've done all of these steps all the way up to number six. Now we're going to connect and we're going to draw his beak. And we're going to start over here and we're going to draw a curve that comes down towards the middle. And then we're gonna go back up and off to the side. <laughs> and we go past his body. There we go, good job. <laughs> now let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw big circles because owls have humongous eyes, right? Yeah. So there's one, and I'm gonna draw another one over, way over here. 
<laughs> Those are massive. I like them. <laughs> one's big and one's pretty small. <laughs> okay, next we're going to draw big, hu- well, we're going to draw little circles, smaller circles inside on the top right. And we're going to do that over here on this side too. Now we're going to change it. Let's add another one down here that's even smaller. Bottom left. And we'll do that over here. So these are going to be the, this is the light reflecting in his eyes. Now we're going to color in the big circle, but leave these two smaller circles white. And we're going to fast forward this part, but you guys at home can pause it. You guys can color your eyes also. Next step, we're going to draw another circle that goes around each eye. So we'll start up here, right on his eyebrow. And we're going to follow, go around the outside of the eye, and then connect back up to the eyebrow. And we'll do that over here on this side also. He's got huge eyes. Those are massive. Okay, now we're gonna draw one more of these on each side. So I'm gonna go right next to his beak. And this time I'm gonna connect it to the side of his body. And we'll do that over here on this side. Yeah. Wait. Was, no, it's good. And then you could do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> it looks awesome. <laughs> now we're going to draw the feathers on his forehead. So we're going to start right here and I'm going to do a little zigzag that goes all the way over to the other side. Yes, just like that. Good. Now we're going to draw feathers going down the side of his body and we're going to draw a zigzag line going down and connecting to his little legs, his little talons. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Next, let's draw his tail feathers. I'm gonna draw a line right down the middle. And then I'm gonna draw another line over here. We'll split. And I'm gonna do one more coming down on the side. Then we can repeat the same step over here on the left side. Draw two more lines and we got his tail feathers. Next, let's add a few more feathers on his belly. And we're just gonna use the letter U. We're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw one little U right there. And then I'm gonna draw Two more letter U's, well we could do three. And then I'm gonna add another row right under that. <laughs> All right, dude, we finished drawing our owls. It turned out awesome. This was a really fun lesson. It's super simple, right? Yeah. Okay, but we still need to color our owls. They're not finished yet. So we hope you're gonna color your owls also, but we're gonna do something a little different than we usually do. We're gonna use our imaginations yeah. to color our owls. Okay. Okay, I want you to concentrate. <laughs> Count to three and then tell me what color did you color your owl? One, two, two three. three. Uh, purple with brown spots. <laughs> Purple with brown spots? Yeah. And a little bit of cheese color in there. I yeah, see. yeah. A little cheese. yellow. Yeah, a little cheese spots everywhere. <laughs> and there's also a bean in the corner. <laughs> bean in the corner? You what? put a bean in the corner? Yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> okay, I just colored mine normal. Now you can use your imagination before you color yours, but be sure to use real art supplies. Yep. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.